Hi, I'm Amanda, and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're going to be getting steamy in the kitchen making guacamole. Usually I say why I love guacamole, but who doesn't? Guacamole is delicious, so we're going to show you a quick, simple way to make it at home so you don't need to go looking for it in the grocery store. We've got two avocados, our white onion, a tomato, jalapeno, some fresh cilantro, a lime, salt, and our tortilla chips. I love making guacamole, but a lot of people are probably a little bit hesitant to make it at home because they're not really sure how to pick out a good avocado. So here we're going to show you. Now I have a beautiful ripe Haas avocado. Now it's actually green when it's unripe and then it turns black as it gets ripe. The way to pick one out in the store is to grab it and then just lightly press it with your thumb. If you feel that it's springy but not too soft, then it means that it's perfect to go. If you're not making guacamole for a few days, you can always put the avocados on the countertop in a brown bag to help them ripen a little bit faster. Now we're going to be chopping up all of our ingredients, then mashing them in the bowl, and we'll be giving you the rest of the steps from the cutting board. Starting with our avocados, we're going to start by slicing around the avocado lengthwise. Then twist it apart, and using the knife, spear the pit. Now this is called pitting an avocado, and we're going to twist the blade, and this is going to loosen it, and it should come right out. Then we're going to be carefully holding the avocado by the skin and cutting a crosswork pattern in the flesh. Using a spoon, just scoop it out and this is going to keep your hands clean. Continue repeating that with the remainder of the avocados. For our white onion, we're going to start by removing the tips, slicing them down and removing the outer layer of skin. Slice the onion in half, then using one half, just finely chop enough onion until you have two to three tablespoons depending on how much you like it. Next, grab your tomato, slice it in half, and then squeeze out all the seeds. These can be bitter, so we want to get rid of them. Then finally chop a quarter of the tomato until you have one tablespoon of diced flesh. Now we're going to be adding some heat to this dish. Now we have an entire jalapeno here, but we're going to be making a mildly spiced guacamole, so we're only going to be using a quarter. Now we're going to start by removing the tip and then slicing it lengthwise, and you'll see all these seeds. Now the seeds are what contains the heat because they're what has the caspicum oil in it, so make sure you either wear gloves or wash your hands because that is what's going to cause your eyes to burn if you all of a sudden go and rub one of them. Now we're going to carefully remove the seeds and push them to the side, and then we're going to be finely dicing a quarter quarter of our jalapeno. Grab your cilantro, we're going to roll it together into a tight ball to make finely chopping it easier and then run your knife through it till it's finely chopped. If you don't like cilantro, you can definitely leave this ingredient out. To add a little zing to this dish, we have one lime. We're going to roll it back and forth underneath our hands to get all of those juices released. Then we're going to squeeze it really tightly, both halves, until we have all of that beautiful juice in our guacamole. Finally, we're going to be adding a good pinch of salt, and we're going to do that to bring out all of those beautiful flavors that we've just combined. Grab either a fork or a masher and mash until it's the desired consistency. I like a little bit of a smooth, chunky mixture. And now my favorite part, I get to taste it. You can already smell that lime. It smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. The avocado makes this super, super creamy. You're getting a nice amount of zest from that beautiful lime, but just the right amount of zing from that jalapeno. This is the perfect snack for any game night. Thanks so much for watching The Hot Plate, guys. Make sure to check out this and all of our other episodes at thehotplate.net and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.